what's going on guys moxification here so today uh i'm going to show you guys how to get more than one uh, more than five plugins on your jtag or rgh so to start off what you're going to need to download is what i've got in the description so i've got launch and i've got the jrpc v2 so um what you want to do is you want to go into your well the launch and i that i've provided and you want to start off by changing the stuff that you need to have there for example if you're not using the xenon files then put for example i've, I've forgotten what oh yeah teapot live whatever if you're using teapot live put teapot live there if you're using uh i don't know uh, what, what other servers are there there's a few, I don't know, but if you're using, you know, a different server, then put your different one there. Uh, if you're using, um, I don't know, what, what else would you be using there? Uh, you know, anything, but make sure that you've got jrpc2.xex as a plugin in your launch.ini. So to get more plugins, um, what you want to do is you want to have jrpc2.xex there. And you want to have jrpc2.xgx on the root of your hard drive. So we're going to open up Neighborhood. I'll show you what you need to do. And then I'll show you how to get more plugins. So we're not going to go to games. We're going to go to the root of the hard drive. So that's JTAG, Retail Hard, uh, retail hard Drive Emulation. Uh, and then you're going to go to the root of the hard drive, which is here. So uh, what you do... <laughs> I keep getting my tongue twisted. Um, you want to do... Make sure you've got JRPC2, uh, jrpc2.xgx in the root of your hard drive and make sure it's in there launch.ini um, and make sure you've got jrpc.ini also in the root of your hard drive so we're going to put the launch.ini root of the hard drive we're going to put jrpc2.xcx in the root of the hard drive and then what we're going to do is to get more plugins we're going to open up jrpc.ini so you want to scroll down you've got settings and plugins i think there are other things that you can have but i'm not sure um but yeah, I'll uh, link the 17th post and the download link that I've got. Um, but uh, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to uh, put your plugins here. So make sure that they're not the same plugins as the plugins that are on your INI. You can have totally different ones. You can have unlimited ones. It says it here. It says you can have as many plugins as you want. Just add on uh, to the plugin number. So that would be, uh, for example, you would do uh, that. Uh, plugin uh, three, and then that, and then uh, oh space uh, HDD mm, backslash. Oh wait, press the wrong thing. Backslash, and then uh, I don't know GTA V menu dot XCX, and then uh, then you do save file save. But I don't have a GTA menu, so I'm gonna leave it there with BO2 bypass and RPC dot XCX. So control S, which is save. If you want KV Stealer protection on, which is true, and then if you don't want it on, then you can put force. But uh, yeah, so save, uh, exit out, then JRPC uh, dot INI in the root of the hard drive there, uh, and done. So then all you've got to do is you got to reset your console, which I'll do now, and then when you load it up, you'll have the. Um, you'll have, for example, I put the BL2 BAM bypass in there so i'll have the the band bypass will load up in a second when i turn the computer back on so we'll do that right now uh here we go it's loading now it'll take a bit longer for you guys to see it because it i think it's about there's about three second or two second delay with the HTPVR. so uh yeah but we'll show you now i'll load up the neighborhood so i can load up bo2 there you are. So Xenon fully stealthed. We'll load up um what was it? BO2. There you go, D4. It'll take a bit to load. There you go, D4, and then we'll load up the D4 underscore MP dot XCX. We'll make this big screen so you guys can see a little bit better. And BO2 shit, that's bypassed. So now you know that that worked because that was under the um the i don't know what you'd call it that was in the uh by that was in the jrpc.ini uh that wasn't in the plugins so uh yeah so that's about it what i do is i'll give a download link uh for the file i'll give a download link for my ini and the jrpc dot INI and the JRPC2.xcx. Uh, so yeah, give it a go. It works. I'm sure that you guys have seen this before, but 
for those that haven't and you know I, i'm sure that there'll be a few i'm sure that there'll be at least 10 people who have never seen it before and have always only ever had 10 plugins uh five plugins sorry and you'll use it to your advantage as much as possible so uh yeah what i do is i'll just go into a game i'm just i'm not sure if i've got a menu loaded up i don't think i do actually but we'll just we'll just download the nuke town and then i'll connect to the live uh, a xbox live on bo bo2 yep that's the game that'll only take a second because i've already got it downloaded um but yeah there you go should do itself there you go and then go online and then we'll go into custom games and like i said i'm not sure if i've got a menu loaded up so if i do have a menu loaded up then um then yeah then it will load up but if i don't then i won't i'm not sure but uh yeah so that's about it the like i said download and whatever else uh, will be in the description and i do have a menu loaded up i've got a um i think it's an as a menu thing that got released on seven scenes or something but uh yeah so yeah that's about it um the download like i said will be in the description thanks guys moxification see you guys in the next video uh goodbye